Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Here we are with the Royal Navy. Um, you hold just about holding our own I feel we've got taken out a couple of their capital ships which has been great um, but their U-boats as we would suspect are causing havoc for our fleet and for the merchant convoys thanks ever so much for everyone who's uh, shown support by hitting that thumbs up and sharing on social media it really does help the uh, series and the channel grow so thank you very much for all that support and let's get to it so uh, we got U-boats here let's have a look where the um Oh yeah, we, we need to get some um, destroyers up there, don't we? Uh, maybe we'll bring these three destroyers out of the med. And we'll bring them up here. Uh, and then we'll bring Jackal... Oh, Vendetta's damaged. Vendetta, you go into, um, into port then. Oh, I didn't mean to bring the Jackal with me. Oh, well, you might as well get rearmed while you're here. Um... And you can stay with the Suffolk and the Warspite as their kind of cover. Um, over here, right, so they've all moved that turn so they can't move. Um, let's come to Portsmouth. Do we have, we, we can buy two more ships. So we need a couple of more um, destroyers. Look at these beautiful ships. Um, but they're pretty much useless. We need destroyers. Um, v and W, no, which one? Which one did we like? Which one did we like? Was it the... I think it had 10 torpedoes. Was it... No, and it had eight, uh, six guns, didn't it? This one. It was the JKN destroyers. Yes. So we'll buy the um, the Jervis. Jarvis. No, we won't. It's a silly name. <laughs> it's not a silly name. Um, do we have anything cool? Uh, Norman. Let's get Norman. I'm going to get a ship called Norman and Kelvin. Norman and Kelvin. There we go. Brilliant. So we're back up to full fleet capacity. We've got 34,000 renowned as well. And there are four um, ships waiting there. So let's get the Kelvin and the Norman and let's head them out to um, the western approaches. Meanwhile, up here, we've got Juno and Vanessa. Let's bring them down over to Scapa Flow and see if we can cover around there. Good, right, I think that's as good as we can manage for the time being. Straight away, a destroy. Oh, okay, this is not too bad. Um, we have the initiative. The heavy cruiser Beric and the destroyer Valorius have in intercepted the destroyer Hans Ludemann. Nice. Oh, it's snowing! I think that's the first time I've seen snow in game. Wait, where is he? But, uh, he's over there. Is he running away? Probably not, actually. He's over there, apparently. Oh, yeah, there he is. All right, wind direction is coming towards us, so if we um, turn to starboard, we get all guns um, fixed on the destroyer. Um, we'll get some high explosives loaded in. Elevation of 9.6. Uh, there's a strong wind coming in our faces, so let's go up to about 11.2, and we'll... Um, Put it to about there. Opening salvo. Could be long anyway. Fire. Okay, the angle of the dangle was just about right. The um obviously we're a bit long, but that's okay. Right, Valorius. Target the destroyer. Elevation of 25. Oh, actually, do we have any aircraft? Because we're near the American coast. It's a real nasty old day, isn't it? Um, 25, 25, 25. I'll give it a little bit more. And we'll put the shot slightly behind. Fire. Oh, and I didn't make it, that one. Torpedoes in the water. Okay, no doubt going for our cruiser. To be expected. Um, start turning to starboard. So last time out, uh, we were long with 11.2. Uh, so 8.2 is now the... So if we go 8.7, because we've still got that wind coming in our face as we look at them. Oh, 
Oh, a bit of a stutter, otherwise I think we might have had that. Crikey, look at this weather. It's real nasty. Real nasty indeed. Um, 25.8 apparently was on the money. Now that was short, so let's uh, crank it up a bit. Stick that behind. Ah, uh, didn't get the angle of the dangle right. Torpedoes coming in. Right, we're going to have to turn a bit sharpish next time. Ah, oh, she's putting up a star shell. Where are these torpedoes? Let's, um... I've already started to turn this way, so I'm going to have to continue to turn this way. We've only got the ray guns on her, but that should be plenty. Um... Last time we fired, and it was slightly behind, wasn't it? But the, the actual the distance was about right. Uh, I'm going to crank the gun up a couple of notches to not 8.9, as suggested. Fire. Yes, some good hits. Right, 27.4 apparently on the money. Oh, it wasn't too far away, actually. I'm going to... Give it a little bit more. Stick those a little bit further behind. And hopefully that should drift nicely. Oh, we still haven't got the angle of the dangle right. We've got the range. Right, what are these torpedoes doing? Okay, I think we should be okay if we continue our turn. Get a bit feisty now. Continue our turn. Well, actually, come down to two thirds. That should make us turn slightly tighter. Uh, okay, 8.9 on the money, apparently. Yeah, gonna give it a little bit more. Um, just gonna put it about there. Fire! Whoa, there she goes. Whiz bang pop. And she's gone. Nice. So the hands, Ludman is being sunk for 2,800. Nice. Good. That's the one less thing to worry about. Excellent. Excellent. And we got two destroyers. Oh no. We got a destroyer, the Jackal, and the heavy cruiser Suffolk have popped out of port in the Mediterranean, which is grand. Right then. Um. What I might do is move these two, the Kelvin and the Norman, move them over there, and I might move uh, the Juno and the Vanessa down here, and then we've got all those areas covered by two ships, two destroyers. So that's at least two destroyers, should I say, so that's pretty good. And down here we've got, uh, okay, they're doing Vivian and the Watchman. Good. Okay, there's not, not much more I want to do at the moment. I think we're a bit of a holding station at the moment. And see what um, the enemy has to throw at us. Not much. Right, I'm actually going to move the Triton. Let's move you up there, and then I'm going to move the Thetis. Um, you pop up there. We'll just have a little line there. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, giving our capital ships a bit of time to get repaired. I've still just got Keel, which is good. Right, fine. Oh, hello. Hello, this is a bit of a matchup. Um, a bit of North American seaboard uh, action. The Germans have the initiative. The light cruiser Leipzig and the destroyer Paul Jacobi uh, have intercepted the heavy cruiser Berwick and the destroyer Valorius, which we've just seen in action. Okay, it's a lovely day, mind, so that's nice. Now, a light cruiser versus a heavy cruiser. Ow. Um, this is going to be a bit of a matchup, actually, because what, do we, what guns do we have? We have 8-inch guns. What does the Leipzig have? Can I... She has... Uh, well, just 5.9 guns. So there's not... Well, there's a little bit in it, but um, she's got 9, 5, five nines, and we've got 8, 8. Yeah, we're slightly heavier. We got. Um, 
what are we going to do? Where's the wind? The wind is in our face, as always. In our face! Right, let's... I didn't mean to do that. I went to hit. Move. <laughs> um, let's target the... Let's target the, um, the destroyer to begin with. Switch to high explosives. Um, elevation 15.6 to begin with, they reckon. I'm going to go a little bit longer because of the, um, the, sh the wind. And if we fire about there. Right, flank speed, Valorius. Head straight for them, please. Uh, do we have any air patrols? No, we don't. Um, elevation of 40. Okay. We'll give it the full beans. We're going to go a little bit more. We're going to shove it there. Actually, the wind's not too strong, so let's... That was well off target. We have just opened ourselves up, obviously, for a better profile for them to shoot at. Uh-oh. And they do have elite gunnery switched on, of course. So, this could go horribly wrong. Oh, our rudder's disabled. Crap. Told you, elite gunnery. Um, right, we were too far with 16, so they reckon 10. I'm going to bring it down to about 10.8. Oh, 11.1, sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Fire. Oh, rubbish. Too much, too much. Too soon. Can't get the old guns in. Plus 40. Switch over there. Fire. We're hopelessly out of range. Yep, she's honed right in on us. And of course, we're damaged rudder. We can't turn. I will just double check. Oh, he's going to launch torpedoes in a couple of goes. Now that we're disabled, hopefully we can get this. Um, let's just do a quick check. The steering is only lightly damaged. Okay, we should be able to get that fixed in a bit then. But for now, we're just going to have to do this lazy turn, which is a bit annoying. All right, uh, we were short, weren't we? Yeah, we were. So 11, I reckon that's probably going to be about 13, almost. Fire. <laughs> Good hits on the destroyer. I don't want her to least torpedoes, that's why I'm targeting her straight away. Yeah, 40 apparently was on the money. Let's um, go a little bit more. Turn that there. Fire. Obviously these shells are in the air a long time. Can be aff affected by the wind a lot more. No, still, still nothing. Okay, she's going to leave some smoke. Ah, our rudder is back. Hallelujah. Right. So we've got um, the destroyer giving some smoke down. What damage have we got? Propulsion is now damaged. Wonderful. Wonderful. Right. There she is. I see her. Um, last time we fired at 12 and it was on the money, wasn't it? So if we fire again. Right, we need to start thinking about the um, the cruiser now. We'll get her. T uh, we we'll get the destroyer to focus on the destroyer. <laughs> Hopeless. Now that smoke should be working in my favour as well. 
It's not though, they're absolutely honed in on the Beric. Alright, if she's going to run, that's fine. Let's go to flank speed, even though propulsion is damaged. Right, target the uh, Leipzig. 14.4, they reckon. I'm going to go 15.5, target about there. Range is good. Accuracy, not so much. Uh, yeah, fire. This destroyer seems to be taking for an age to get in the comp in the in the battle. Now uh, we're well along. I'm sorry if that made anyone slightly motion sickness. Oh, they've missed! Hallelujah! I think she's just laying down smoke now, which is all well and good. Right, so uh, we were not too bad. We were on the, pretty much on the money there, weren't we? So let's just bring the gun down a little bit because we've obviously moved a little bit closer. They've moved a bit closer. Just got to get the angle of the dangle right. Um, we could have some serious... Oh, I've, done... I've got the angle of the dangle wrong. Again. I can't keep doing this. Come on, Taff. We're going to lose the ship if we keep um, messing about. Right, high explosives. Let's target the Leipzig. Uh, elevation of 28.4. Uh, I'm going to go 30. Because obviously it's windy. A little bit more, a little more, and then we may have got a snag on it. Oh my goodness, she's missed us again! She's been very nice to us. Right. The Leipzig, 10.6. 10.6, that seems... Seems a little much. I'm going to drop that down to maybe 12. Five. Okay, we got a snag. Finally, we're, we're kind of getting in the uh, vicinity. I've got the range, just can't get the angle of the dangle. I'm, I'm adjusting too much, I think. Five. I'm just hopeless today. Absolutely hopeless. Uh oh. Ow. All three shells hit nicely there. And she's turning to um, get her rear guns uh, in action by the looks of things. Paints us a bigger target as well, of course, which helps. Um, drop the guns a little bit. I've got high explosives on. Let's, um, let's get some... Armor piercing loaded. Right, the wind is coming straight at us now, so I reckon. It is slightly there. Eighteen point two. Oh, well, that's gonna go well away. I saw I, I saw. I saw as they fired the shells. It literally the wind just took it. It's like uh, obviously the heavier shell, the less disturbance it gets. Oh god, the barracks going to be scuttled at this rate. She's taking a lot of damage. Right, please let's get some shots on target, can we? Uh, let's bring this gun range down. 9.9, it's going to go 10.8. Um, the wind is directly at us, so if we close in the shots. Fire. Ah, 
not really not really on it today with the old shooting am I it's um it's proving more challenging than I would like to admit hey there we go oh she's loose torpedoes at my destroyer she's seen the d she's seen the de the danger good right here we go now it's turning into a slugging match we've got a better chance of doing this right, let's bring that down 8.4 they reckon I'm gonna go nine winds in our face so fire Oh, rubbish. Right, hard to port. Uh, 7,000 meters out is quite a way to um, lose some torpedoes, and I can't lose some torpedoes at that angle. So, um, we'll, uh, we'll fire a few more shots. Oh come on! I'm just oh, I'm just not with it today. The luck's not with me either. Oh crap! They're bang on the money with their elite gunnery every time. Almost feels like every time anyway. Right then, let's not screw this up. So last time we fired at nine. And that was short. 8.6 they reckon. I'm going to nudge that up to 9.2. Fire. Yes! Finally! Some good hits. How's she doing? Absolutely fine. Her full spot, her full radar is damaged and her AAA is destroyed, which is um, pretty useless really. But How are we doing? Six, four. Okay, we're getting closer. Um, fire. Probably need some. The destroyer. We probably need to be firing um, high explosives. Oh, she's laying smoke. Is she calling it a day? Well, well, well. Oh, our pumps and propulsion are damaged. Just keep going. You know, the faster we go, the hopefully the better um, we'll be able to keep the water out. Oh, there she is, though. Uh, I'm going to keep the same. She's pulled away a bit, actually. So let's let's notch the guns up a couple. <laughs> Yeah, we couldn't see it because you're in the smoke, but oh, we just blew a um, bit of a superstructure away. Nice. Right, we're going in for the kill. We're going in for the kill. What she? Oh, we can't tell what she's away at the moment, but uh, let's spit, switch some high explosives. Drop that down a bit. Fire. Oh, well over. Well over. Okay. Got a little bit excited there. We are listing quite badly. But we're still in the fight, which is the important thing. Right. There she is over there, running away. Let's crank the guns up a little bit more. Aim for the big pile of smoke. Fire! Oh, just just short. Right, let's switch. I think we'll get ready for some torpedo action now. Uh, we are... Oh, actually, I don't have the um, calculations because um, she's in smoke, apparently. And that means I can't calculate uh, torpedoes. So if we go for uh, a nice big spread, uh, is her propulsion damage? No, of course it isn't. Okay, so she can go flat full chat if she wants to so I reckon it's going to be in there somewhere 
I'll put another one there and probably another one there. Right. I don't think we we shouldn't hear in one go because we're, we're not that close. Oh, she's going she's still going quite speed though, isn't she? Oh yeah, they're actually going to go behind. She's going a lot quicker than I thought she was. We've missed. We have missed. Bugger. Bugger ration. Right, let's... Um, where were we? The shots. Shots weren't too bad. I reckon... Notch the guns up a little bit. Fire. Oh, she is living a... Life of... Uh, luck at the moment or maybe just my bad shooting yeah probably <laughs> what was that what was that okay those torpedoes are missed she's going a lot quicker than I thought she was you are listing a lot more than I thought you were. Right. There. Crank the guns up. A bit. Fire. Okay. Try and get ahead of it. Let's bring those guns right down. Fire. That's a bit better. Got a fire going behind the bridge now. Any chance they may hit that destroyer? No, they're on out of steam before they get there. Alright, we'll continue to pummel, pummel, pummel away. Fire. There we go, we're settling into this now. Ooh, right on the water line, perfect. Hopefully she's got a bit of flooding with that. Yeah, 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 don't worry about the torpedoes. So let's have a look at the Leipzig. Ah, her propulsion and pumps are finally damaged. Wonderful. Wonderful. How's how's the old Beric doing? Propulsion's back. Pumps still need a bit of work. And we are listing. Worryingly so. But we are still in the fight and we're still doing well. I think we need to uh, crank the guns up another few notches. Fire. Ooh, just a little bit too much with the angle of dangle. Right, keep pressing the attack. Were we short last time? Uh, yeah, we were kind of, weren't we? But Now, if she ever comes off smoke and then swings that rear turret round to that destroyer, that's going to be squeaky bomb time for them for definite. Yeah, it's a long way away from that destroyer. It's okay. They run out of steam. There we go. Right. I want to get you down, Leipzig. I need to get you down. Again, slightly off the mark. I think the Leipzig's actually running away from my destroyer, which shows you how slow my destroyer is. Um, oh, I didn't need to do that correction with the uh, range, it would seem. 
Where's that destroyer? Oh, he's right in front of us there somewhere. Right, let's... The wind's not as strong as we're thinking it is. Oh, there goes that turret. That A turret is out of action. Fire. Oh! Well, I was a lot closer than I thought. Come on then. Let's uh, see if we can finish her off. What do you reckon the range is on there now? It's a bit difficult to tell. I think we lose some torpedoes from the destroyer next time. Just to... Uh... Anyone in that little um, spotting booth would have been glad to see that go. Right, let's get the... Oh, we've gone past the torpedoes. There we go. Oh, we, we don't have... Okay, we don't have torpedoes at this angle. Okay, fine. Um, let's get some, let's get some uh, explosives. Targeting there. Down a bit. Fire. <laughs> Go on, get some fires going. Come on, Beric. Now's the time. Now's the time, Beric. Uh, we're a little bit long, actually, so let's um, bring the uh, range down. Fire. Oh, that's a good one. That was a good one. Right, now we should have the torpedo. What? Okay, we can fire it. Um... Hopefully that's going to be... Ah! Booger. Never mind. I'm guessing her propulsion is damaged, but yeah, she's turning away. Oh. Still listing. Listing badly. <laughs> um, fire. Oh, that was a good salvo. That was a good salvo. She'll be reeling from that. Swing the guns, swing those guns, swing those guns, swing them all the way. I can see the water line coming up a bit. Hey! She's listing quite badly. She's listing quite badly. Worse than the Beric. Happy days. Well, we've been absolutely appalling with our gunnery and our torpedoes today. Fire. Oh, she can't take much more of this. It's a relentless assault on her. Let's drop the guns down. Yes, the Leipzig has gone. Finally. She put up a good fight there, didn't she? Crikey. There she goes. There she goes. Bit of a rolling over as well. Groaning and creaking as she goes. Magnificent.
Look at that. Beautiful. Anyway, it's not over yet. Where's the uh, destroyer? Right. Um, come hard to port. I want to target away from the. Uh, oh my goodness! Can I can I select that? There we go. Yes, I can. She's pretty much underwater at the rear. Um, we're not going to get a uh, a calculation for her, so I'm going to just take a stab in the dark. Where was the let? She was there. It's not a little bit more. I'm just going to go a touch more. Maybe about 11 or 12. Ooh, that was a good guess. That was a good guess. Right. It won't take much to finish this destroyer off if we can get to her. It's going to be quite, I'm going to say, probably around about the 15th or so mark. Oh, well short. Well short. Right, our best bet is the Beric hitting the uh, Jacobi. Otherwise, where's the... Okay, it's not going to run into the Beric. That's what I'm worried about. Beric running into our own torpedo. But no, it doesn't appear to be. Um, last shot was just short, so... About there. Oh! Much too long. Much, much too long. I look, slight adjustment and we're well out. Right. Bigger adjustment for this one. And we're still short. Wow. This smoke is really working for the uh, prediction, isn't it? It really does interfere with any prediction given by the computer which is a bit of a bit of a thang how far we work oh, he's turning as well okay crank that down a bit uh, fire there oh Paul Jacoby is sinking as well nice well done. Well done. That was a good battle. The Beric has received heavy damage, but is still afloat. The Valorius is doing absolutely fine. Uh, we sunk the light cruiser Leipzig for 8,900 tonnes, and the destroyer Paul Jacobi for 2,260 tonnes, for a total of 11,160 tonnes. Nice! But it's not over. The Jaguar, the Vespa destroyers have been intercepted by U-39 she has the initiative so she's gonna lose some torpedoes and no doubt take one of my destroyers out straight away uh, right the only course of action if you look at the um, torpedo oh, you can't see the torpedoes from there okay so we've got a torpedo there and a torpedo there we are going to have to turn port about yay. Go down to two thirds speed to try and dodge, uh, dodge these torpedoes. Yeah, we may be okay there. Right, and the contact is behind us. So, um, can the gun not fire behind us? Oh, that's interesting. Do we have any aircraft? No, we don't. Righty ho then. Oh, it can do there. Oh, look, I didn't realise these ships had a blind spot directly behind them. How interesting. Well, I never. Okay, we can't really do much then. But you can. You can spin round. This one's got a rear fire, immediately rear firing gun. Right, Let's target the the submerged contact, U-39 over here. 14.6 um, is the the guesstimate. The wind's going to be quite strong from uh, that direction. So, I've no idea where the periscope is there. Wow, that's close. Good. Good bit of dodging. 
Is she going to lose some? She's lost another torpedo. Straight at her this time. Oh, oh god, blind that fell short. Thank goodness for that. Right. Back up to full speed. Hard to port. Keep the maneuvering going. Jaguar is um, really, really testing out her sea legs today. Right. Uh, swing the guns around. Oh, how far away is she? 4,600. 4, We've got 10 torpedoes. Right. Let's loose one there. She's coming directly at me, so let's loose one there. It's going to take a couple of goes, so if we loose one there, and if she decides to turn that way, we'll loose one there. Have some of that back at you. Continue to spin around. There she is. Swing it over there. Fire. It's a bit long, actually. Yep, yeah, it's just going to go behind my destroyer. Fantastic. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, come on. Oh! <laughs> You're kidding me! You're kidding me! Uh, okay. We didn't quite get the angle of the dangle, right? So if I lose one there... Lose one there... You're not going to get away from me, Mr. U-Boat. I can't believe how close that... That, that torpedo is literally, literally rattling down the length of the hull. That is incredible. Right, we're far too long on this, so let's bring that in a bit. Torpedoes in the water. Warm. There it goes. She's loosed another torpedo. Yes! I thought we'd missed again. U-39 has been sunk. You devils. Right. Good work. That was... Jaguar did brilliantly then. Ducking and diving. Firing numerous torpedoes, but we managed to get her. Uh, U-39 has been lost for 1,032 tons. Nice. Excellent. So all things are looking quite good. Where is... We have some um, ports in the American seaboard, which is great. So I'm going to shove the Beric. Oh, the Achilles has come out of um, port. Let's shove the Beric back in for um, some rework. Meanwhile, the Achilles has come out of port, so she can stay with the Valorius and continue the kind of patrol in that area, which is grand. And things are looking great. Um, only two red notches on the tonnage war for the Germans at the moment. So we are holding our own. Uh, we got rid of a light cruiser, a couple of U-boats, and a destroyer. Jobs are good and quite happy. Not a bad day's um, work. It's definitely far more challenging uh, on this side of the conflict than on the Axis side. But uh, I am enjoying it um, nevertheless. And I hope you're enjoying it as well. It's something different, isn't it? So if you are, as always, hit that thumbs up, share on social media, and hit that subscribe to catch the future episodes of this series as well. And I will see you next time on more Atlantic Fleet Royal Navy. Take care.